Hey guys, it's Two Review Games or Adam, and welcome back to another episode of the five things you did not know you could do here in Zombies. Today, we will be specifically focusing on World War II Zombies. So my goal for this top right right here is I want at least to have one thing on this list that you guys are surprised about or you did not know about. And for those of you who might not play Zombies as much or you play it casually, these are some things that will really help you out and will definitely surprise you that you can actually do this here in World War II Zombies. So since I've started this little mini-series within the top fives, it's definitely become my most popular mini-series within the top five. So if you guys want to see a part two to this specifically for World War II Zombies, go ahead and smash that like button so I know you guys would love to see a part two to this. And besides that, guys, if you have any top five ideas, please let me know in the comment section below and also go ahead and tweet me your ideas as well on Twitter. I actually will check Twitter more than I will all the comment sections of the video. So if you want me to see your idea, follow me on Twitter and tweet me your top five ideas. And besides that, guys, Let's go over five things you didn't know you could do here in World War II Zombies. So coming in at the number five spot on my list, we have the Lantern Easter Egg. And let me just start off by saying that I really didn't want to put this little thing on this list because I feel like everybody knows about this. If you've played a good amount of World War II Zombies, you should know about this, but we're starting off really easy, guys, really basic. And for those of you maybe who didn't play a ton of World War II zombies yet or you're gonna get World War II and this is something you really need to know about zombies okay on Grosten House or the prologue you can unlock the mystery box by shooting 10 of these lanterns around the map and I'll be doing it right here in the gameplay Shoot 10 lanterns on the second floor, the random box will open up and then you have access to all the weapons that would normally be in the random box on the final right but actually on Groston House. And again, you can do this in both the prologue and of course when you unlock Groston House by completing the main easter egg. I don't know if you unlock this map from completing the campaign but I'm 100% sure you unlock it from completing the uh, easter egg on the final right. So coming in and at the number four spot on my list, we have the PPSH Easter Egg. And just like the number five spot, I wasn't too thrilled about putting this on this list. But this is something that I really actually think you need to know about if you don't know about it already. Because it's a Treyarch PPSH Easter Egg here on the Final Reich. And... It is one of the cooler easter eggs I have ever seen in a non-Treyarch Zombies game. So, in order to actually acquire this beautiful PPSH, what you have to do is go around the map and find four of these money bowls. You have to deposit 250 jolts or points into each bowl, so you need a total of 1,000 points. And once you've done that, the classic PPSH will be in the box. And when you actually get it, it is called the classic. It has a drum mag and you pack a punch it. It has 115 shots in a clip, of course, directly relating to the OG Treyarch PPSH. This PPSH is definitely much, much better than the original PPSH on the map. I'm not a big fan of the original on this map. This gun is way, way better. So if you're going to use the PPSH, make sure you go for the classic one. And of course, when you are going to the box and you don't get this gun right away, don't worry. It's there. It sometimes takes a really long time to get this gun. I spent like 150k points and I finally got it after all those hits. So don't worry. It's there. It's definitely worth all the points spent because it's such a Cool weapon, it has over a thousand shots, and it absolutely destroys zombies. So now things start getting a little bit more interesting, I promise, guys. Coming in at the number three spot on my list, did you know that you can get free perks on the Final Reich? And this is something I actually originally did not have on my list. I was playing some World War II Zombies, and I did a specific thing, which I'll explain in a second. And I actually bought a perk, and it didn't take away any of my points. So, I thought it was glitched, so I actually looked this up. And apparently, this is an actual thing. You can actually get a free perk. And in order to do that, what you have 
gotta do is you have to kill one of the treasure zombies, and a couple rounds after you kill him, when you go to buy a perk, it's actually free. Now, it doesn't actually show that it's free, but when you actually buy it, it doesn't take away your points. And apparently, you have either one free perk or one free box it, which is really, really interesting. The next time you are playing the final Reich and you see the treasure zombie on the map, you don't have all your perks, or maybe you want to go to the box and try to get that classic PPSH, kill the treasure zombie, wait a couple of rounds, and either get a free perk or a free box it, honestly. The perk is a better deal, but still, a box hit is nice as well. Coming in at the number two spot on my list, did you guys know that you can carry up to six Jack in the Boxes at the same time, and this one right here is a big one, guys. This is really, really awesome being able to carry so many of these things because they're so helpful, especially on a map like Groston House. I always feel like when I'm playing that map, I'm always out of Jack in the Boxes, and I don't even use them all that much, but being able to carry six of them at once is definitely a game changer. So this is another one of those things that I actually just found by accident. I recently just prestige in World War II Zombies, and I hit level 5, and I had one of those Raven Research Unlock Tokens. So I unlocked the mod, or the perk you can put on your class called Grenadier, and it says you can have twice the amount of lethal grenades. So I just put that on. Played a game of the Final Reich, and I got the Jack in the Boxes, I got a max ammo, and then I had a total of six Jack in the Boxes, and it's just so, so nice having this. Now, do you want to run it every single game? I don't know. If you're playing solo, I don't know if it's the greatest idea, but if you're playing a game with your friends, having one person run this is a really, really good idea, because having six of those in the boss fight, or during the Easter egg, or if you're just going for a high round, having that many of those are so helpful, especially for reviving people, and again, on Grosson House, this is something that you really have to have. It will make those, you know, early 20s, late 20s much easier if you have so many jack-in-the-boxes available to you. I'm about to do something that I have never done before in a top 5 video. I am going to have an honorable mention, and this has nothing to do with zombies, but still, I'm gonna throw it in here. Did you guys know that you can slide around in the HQ while sitting down? This is just the most dissatisfying thing to do in the world, and maybe, just maybe, if I had somebody else in my HQ, it wasn't always just me, it'd be even better, but still. By myself, sliding around while sitting down in the HQ was a lot of fun. If you want to know how to do this, all you have to do is we have the sitting down emote on, and just as you're about to sit down, you have to crouch and then move forward, and if done correctly, you will be sliding around while sitting down, and again, if you have people in there, it's way funnier, and I really recommend doing it, but let's actually get into what's in the number one spot. Alright, so let's go back to zombies now. Coming in at the number one spot, this is something that I think people know about for sure. It's something that was discovered recently, but it's something that I just had to put on this list. And since again, it's been discovered recently, that's why it's here in the number one spot. It is being able to pack a punch on Groston now. So you can't actually pack a punch on this map, but there is a little Easter egg that allows every single weapon in the box on the Groston house to be pack-a-punched, and it's amazing, and in my opinion, it makes this map even better than it already was. So, let me explain to you guys how exactly you do this little Easter egg that allows every single weapon in the box to be upgraded. So, the first thing you need is you have to get the Jack in the Boxes out of the Mystery Box, and once you've done that, you have to take your Jack in the Boxes, or one of them, and throw it on a beam that is on the ceiling. It's kind of tough to explain exactly where it is, so just watch the video, I do it right here. Um, but throw the Jack in the Box on that beam, it will explode. Step one is done. Step two, you have to acquire a total of 10,000 points, and then you have to go up to the piano, and the piano is right outside the room 
where the box is, go up to it, hold square, it will take away 9,999 of your points, and then after that, every single weapon in the random box will be pack-a-punched. Now, I don't know about you guys, but every time a little easter egg like this is discovered on Grosset House, I love the map more and more. First, we have the random box room, now we have the pack-a-punch, and it just makes the map way more enjoyable. Now, one little thing, only box weapons are pack a punched wall weapons are still non papped unfortunately so if you want a specific wall weapon which is the mp40 the sdg or the combat shotgun you actually have to get those guns from the box but still it makes it way better it makes getting past the 20s a lot easier since you have all these path weapons and i love these easter eggs i hope there's more because grosden house is such a fun and chaotic map and i just love it so damn much. So there we have it guys, five things you didn't know you could do here in World War II Zombies and again, I'll be the first person to admit that there are a couple of things on this list, especially the five and four spot that I know for a fact a lot of people know about, but these five things right here are I think the five things so far that really stand out to me that like the average Zombies player might not know about. Again, I'm just going after, I want one thing on this list that you don't know about because there's always going to be some people who know about certain things and then some people who don't know about certain things. So guys, if you enjoyed the video, drop a like. Maybe we'll do a part two for World War II. I'm definitely working on a part four for Treyarch Zombies. But again, if you want to see a part two, leave a thumbs up, subscribe for more top five videos, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.